Okay, so to sew this on the, the fabric onto the felt, I'm going to start at a quarter and I'm going to make my stitching um, about a half an inch, five eighths of an inch into the fabric. So I have a knot on the back and then I have, we'll see now this is going to be weird. Um, <laughs> I've come out of the fabric, you can see about a half an inch and you can either do, you, you can go either direction, which Whichever direction, either the short direction or the long direction, doesn't matter. So this is that running stitch where you're going to go down into the fabric. Now i got to get both cameras so they're... Okay. Go down into the fabric and then come up about the same space as the stitch that you took right here. So, darn it, now I got shade. Um, my stitch goes from here to here and then I'm coming out again. And so I'm just gonna go down and up and down and up. And I won't make it around the entire piece of fabric, I bet, on just one piece of embroidery floss. I'll probably have to tie it off. So what you want to do, and I can tell I'm already not, but I'm going to fix it, is try to keep a straight line. Um, yeah. If you're awful at going straight, you can always draw a line on there. It'll just be on there in between the stitches. If it's not bad, which is what we're going for, <laughs> then um, just keep going. Then you don't have to draw a line on there. And I'm taking the pins out as I get to them. This washer? Yep. Where do we, where should we start? I was, I just finished spreading my needle. Um, that's okay. I started at a corner, like I came up, so it was even spacing this way and this way. And mine's wide on. Let's see how much I move this box. There. You can see where I came out. Okay. at cameras while I'm sewing. I go that straight. 
And then I'm getting close to the next corner, so I'm going to kind of adjust it so it works for me to go around the corner. So I'm going in about at an even space for this for going this direction and for going this direction. And that will allow me to then come up around the corner. I remember the first time ever learning how to, or like ever sewing or stitching something. Yeah. And then the Highland House and Rachel came to visit and she bought like this little kit and it's like a little blue bag. Abby, your speaker's on. Oh, it is? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. So hi. I don't know who we were talking to, but hi. <laughs> hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Oh. <laughs> hi. So you can see how I've come around the corner. And I didn't mess up with my spacing. It's still spaced about a stitch apart. Make sure you don't pull it tight because you don't want it to pucker. And then if you are, if you get to the point where your thread is starting to get low, you don't want to go so far as you can't take another stitch because you want to have enough thread on there to be able to tie a knot. I should make it around this next corner before I have to do that. Oh yeah, your dad's going to be on this YouTube I'm going to put on my YouTube channel. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just his voice. He'll be the famous voice. So I'm getting down to where I have like this much left and I can just pull a little so my tail isn't as long to give me more thread to work with. And then, do you guys remember how to tie a knot when you have to in the back? Going through a loop from your previous stitch. Oh, hey, I got pretty far.
Oh, scissors. And then I will... So if you look at the back, it should really um, be nice and even on the back also. So it should look good on both sides. 